All right, so I'm kind of surprised that we're getting another Revenge drop so soon with the Revenge Little Dirk collaboration being three weeks ago, I think, and then two weeks ago we got the uh, Revenge Outline email exclusive, which was uh, arguably the only good email exclusive that we've gotten so far. But regardless, we're getting another drop and it's looking like it's going to be kind of big or like quite a few items at least, uh, given what Garrett has been showing off on his Instagram. So. We're gonna be going through that. We don't have official images. We don't have the official drop list or anything. This is just going to be a uh, predictive drop list of what's gonna be releasing. Expect more colorways for designs that we are seeing, especially the ones that I don't mention because I do know about a couple other colorways given leaks that we have seen in the prior weeks or <laughs> even years for some of the pieces. So with that being said, we're going to take a look at these leaks, which can be found in the description at the Revcom Discord server, which is, like I said, linked in the description. So um, if you, <laughs> in addition to that, if you guys want, I will be live streaming the drop one hour beforehand. So this coming Sunday um, at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be going live at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and then live streaming up to the drop and then probably like 15, 20 minutes after the drop, just hanging out, answering questions, stuff like that. So if you, if you, if that sounds appealing to you, be sure to hop in, watch that. But uh, with that being said, let's get into it because like I said, there is a lot of stuff. So uh, starting off, we have this hoodie, which is kind of like a demon uh, hoodie. I'm not sure what they're going to go with, but this is the design that we've been seen for a while um maybe like two months ago this first surfaced as a sketch on steven's instagram i believe if you don't know who steven is i do have an uh, i do have a interview with him in-person interview which is pretty dope um on my channel you can look that up but he is the one of the graphic designers for revenge probably the main one but uh yeah i don't know if this i don't know the style kind of reminds me of uh, like the material a horn would be made out of so like a ram's horn where they have all those lines going on it's kind of the feel that i get from it or the vibe that i get from it but just an arc logo and then we have this angel demon type character this winged character sitting on top of the uh, g so i don't know some, some people were really digging it but i think it's kind of mid but uh, we will be getting two colorways i'd imagine since we've seen this one shown off as well just the white version <laughs> obviously a mock-up here where you can see the uh, design is just going over the sleeve uh, in comparison to this one which this actually looks like a real uh, like product image so this this actually looks like it is printed and uh, made to order as opposed to pre-order which um, some of their items do function as pre-orders. So moving forward, this is another leak that Garrett just put up on his Instagram not too long ago. We have this uh, bullet hole revenge collegiate crew neck coming in a navy colorway here. I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing this anywhere, but I could be wrong. I'm not sure what other colorways could pop up for this, but um, this is a style that they're going to use on a couple different pieces for this drop. It, you know, it's pretty basic, just a collegiate font, and then it has a bunch of these bullet holes with kind of like glass breaking uh, as the effect in the background. I don't really care for it. But moving forward, we have a basketball, which uh, not as cool, in my opinion, as the previous basketballs they've released. <laughs> it's also kind of hard to tell what color this even is. It's like a very low saturation photo, or else the basketball is just kind of like some pale like pale pinkish orangish color i don't know but um yeah the, the other ones that they dropped were way cooler specifically they had a three or not 3m but they had an iridescent basketball which was super cool i saw it in person when we did the revenge gallery video the collection video and it looked really cool in person i think they've also dropped uh, a white arc logo on a black basketball but one thing to keep in mind, you can see the print isn't the greatest. It doesn't line up perfectly. So like the bottom of the N here is really easy to tell that the uh, the E and then kind of this like cursive swoosh just does not line up that well. 
Same with like the end of the E, you can just see it right there. So moving forward, we have a keychain, which um, might be the first keychain. I'm trying to, I'm fighting off a sneeze right now, but <laughs> uh, I think this might be the first keychain. I know they had the Porsche like uh, 911 keychain. I don't think that ever got released. I could be wrong, but um, the you know they got the Arc logo keychain. So uh, not much to say <laughs> say about that one. Moving forward, we have another. Uh, or I guess th these are the only lookbook pictures that we have for the drop. So this is a corduroy bomber varsity jacket. I'm not sure uh, where you, what way you guys want to go with. It. I think maybe it's a bomber given the neck, but maybe it's a varsity jacket. I don't know what to call it, but. Um, it is what it is. We got the big vertical revenge spell out, which they've used this before, um, at least on the parka. I remember that one with the little angel on the back. Um, it does look like it's embroidered. I don't know if I said that it's corduroy. And then we have some some uh, phrase in the chest. We might get a better look. I forget what it says. Uh, probably like Reve revenge winter 2022 or something like that. But um, this one the it looks black i think there's also a green colorway but um we'll, we'll take some we'll take some look at some other pictures in a little bit but uh, moving forward we have totes so right here we have the black tote once again we're getting this collegiate font this time it's just the outline and it's uh, arced in a circular pattern going around um this bullet hole interestingly it's uh instead of both being going like the same way. This one is just mirrored. So it's just like, you guys know what mirrored means, but yeah, I, I don't care for this. I really hope they don't make it like $50 or something stupid. It looks like a very basic tote. Uh, next up we have this hoodie, which was actually first shown off, I believe during the uh, giveaway that, that like LA, pop up and it's not a pop up but I've seen some people referring to it as that um, but it was just the LA giveaway where they just went on the the roof of some store and threw stuff into a mob of rowdy teenagers but um, as far as as far as the application goes for this design I think it's it almost looks like it's puff ink on the inside which when I first saw it I thought it was um, Chanel patch but that doesn't it doesn't look like Chanel um, where you get that like rug or carpet type <clears throat> material and then I, I, if I had to guess I'd say puff and then it looks like it's surrounded by embroidery but could be some sort of patch like these letters are sewn on but yeah the outside definitely looks like embroidery and then the inside uh, this white does not look embroidered but we have at least two colorways shown off. We have this one, red, white, and blue. And then we also have, like I mentioned, let me try to find it. Come through all my pictures. <laughs> I've, I've so many tabs, like you guys can't see the tabs, but there's so many leaks for this. So I had to pull up a bunch. I had to go into the archive for you guys. But uh, here we have a picture from the pop-up, like I was talking about, the giveaway. Uh, there's another colorway. We got the blue and green one, which I really don't care for either of these, honestly. The design I'm not really feeling, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, another thing that was shown off was this Revenge Trucker hat, which, I don't know, uh, it's a trucker, cool. But um, I don't know about the yellow on camo. I guess this is not bad. Maybe a little bit difficult to pull off, though. Um, interesting color combo. But... Um, I do, I do get concerned about the blank because I just recently bought a uh, um, Channel 5 trucker, which it looks like it might be the same blank, fits terribly. So uh, uh, I'd be a little cautious if you guys are planning on going for that. If it does drop, we have no no reason to suspect that we'll be dropping apart from that ski was just wearing it. I honestly would not think it's dropping anyway. But moving forward, this is the back view of that corduroy bomber. It's hard to tell because of how dark the photo is, but I think this is the black colorway. You get this embroidered cross with a crosshair. So deep. But um, here is a look at the green colorway. So uh, easily you can tell that's corduroy here. We got the embroidery and uh, you'll notice that there was no phrase on the chest right there as opposed to this picture where you can clearly see some embroidery going on on the right chest. 
but these ones leaked or were shown off, you know, like a year and a half, two years ago. So they've been sitting on this design for a fat minute. You can see the black colorway right there. And then let's see, here is a huge set of leaks. Um, I think, did we get this candle one? I forget if that dropped. I think these finally may have ended up dropping. Um, we didn't get this flannel with that logo or this uh, long sleeve, but these are the jackets in question. So we got the green one and the black one, just kind of like a nice clean product shot or like mock-up for those. And then here is a nice product image of the tote. So um, we, we might see different colorways of this just because Garrett, uh, <laughs> Garrett previewed a ton of shoulder bags not shoulder bags, but I should just say like bags um, in general and a, a bunch of different colorways. This one, of course, uh, of course, shown off in black, same in the lookbook as the black one, but it looks like he was at least toying around with the ideas of brown, pink, kind of like an army green or an olive and then red as well. So uh, if we see more colors, maybe those ones might be what we see, but also keep in mind this is a completely different design. The only similarity is that they're both totes. So uh, kind of following the same trend with that, maybe some other silhouettes in terms of bags will drop um, with that same kind of like gunshot style on it. Uh, <clears throat> silhouettes could be shoulder bags or duffels. So these are both things that he has shown off before, stuff he's been thinking about, but you know, keep in mind, uh, those are kind of a long shot compared to the totes. So that's actually all we've got. Um, a lot of stuff dropping, especially for such a, such a like recent drop having occurred. But I guess that was a collab, so it makes sense that they got their own stuff cooking. But yeah, what do you guys think of the drop? How are you feeling about it? Uh, there's also going to, be, <laughs> going to be a facade drop. Shout out my brand. Got the facade work shirt going on right here. We're releasing some stuff Friday, some crazy stuff actually. We have these uh, custom one of one reworked shoulder bags, which are made out of old vintage Carhartt work pants and then turned into a shoulder bag. Got some crazy straps going on. That's dropping Friday though. Then we also have some embroidered dad caps that are dropping. So I'm excited for that, but um, if you're interested in that, link the description down below. Otherwise, I will catch you guys Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for watching. That's all I got.